Part Quality and Problem Solving Blow molders face production problems every day. How fast they solve problems and how efficient their cycle times are determines the plant productivity and profit. When solving problems, stick to an analytical method so any existing or new problem can be solved. First, check the actual control settings against the setup sheet. Second, determine exactly where the problem occurs and if the problem is not continuous, determine when the problem occurs. Next, follow these problem solving steps. Define the problem as likely caused by which one or more of the four primary plastic variables. The second step is to list the possible machine control changes that would correct the plastic behavior. Adjust the operating controls that most directly affect the plastic variable you want to change. Remember, depending on the machine size, any temperature change you make on the machine can take from 20 to 40 minutes to stabilize. And be aware that changing any machine control usually affects more than one of the four primary plastic variables. So, check for any unwanted additional effects on the blow molded parts. We can divide the blow molding process into three basic steps. One, making a good parison. Two, reshaping the parison into a blown part that meets the customer's specifications. And three, cooling the part in the mold. Making a good parison requires that you control plastic flow out of the die head so that the parison has the correct dimensions and the correct weight. The variables that control plastic flow out of each die head are the gap thickness, the plastic pressure at the gap entrance, the land length, and the viscosity of the plastic. 